So how do we stand firm when everything around us seems chaotic? Hey, my name's Tyler, and I'm going to talk to you about praying for deep roots. So when my wife Nicole and I bought our first home, the first major project that we did was to redo all of the landscaping. We scraped the entire yard down to just dirt, and we started from scratch. And when it came time to get trees into the plan, there was no budget left for trees. And I quickly found a program in our city that was providing free trees to help create shade and alleviate the need to use air conditioning. So the day finally came where my free trees were delivered to our house. And to my great disappointment, they were very small. There was no shade at all. So I went and I Googled how to make trees grow faster. To my fascination, the best way to make a tree grow is to prune it back. This causes the root system to dig deeper into the soil and ultimately create a stronger tree in the long run. I didn't enjoy that process in the moment because I wanted my trees to grow bigger. However, this taught me a very powerful principle about what it means to be steadfast in the middle of chaos. We often don't enjoy what I call the process of becoming, but that process is necessary if you are thinking about the long run. Deep roots take time, but the deeper the roots, the greater the revelation. I'm going to say it again. It takes time. Here's what Colossians 2, 7 says. Let your roots grow down into him and let your lives be built on him. Then your faith will grow strong in the truth that you were taught and you will overflow with thankfulness. So how do we actually grow deep roots? Here's number one. You cultivate a prayerful lifestyle. So just as roots provide nourishment and stability for a tree, prayer serves as our lifeline to God. It's through prayer that we connect with our Heavenly Father, seeking His guidance, strength, and wisdom. Consistent prayer digs deeper roots. And developing deep roots requires consistent nourishment. Similarly, a consistent prayer life helps us grow in our relationship with God, regularly setting, a time, or setting time aside for prayer, both individually and corporately, allows us to deepen our connection with Him. Prayer is a conversation. It's not just about presenting our needs or requests to God. It's also about taking time to listen to His voice. And as we spend time in prayer, we open ourselves up to hear God's guidance, His correction, and His encouragement. This is a two-way communication and it strengthens our roots and helps us grow in our faith. Number two is we got to pray specifically for growth. As we let our roots grow down into Christ, our faith becomes firmly grounded in Him. Through prayer, we invite God to work in our lives, transforming us from the inside out. And our faith grows stronger as we witness His faithfulness and experience His power in our lives. Just as deep roots produce healthy trees, Prayer enables us to bear spiritual fruit. Through prayer, we invite the Holy Spirit to work in and through us, producing the fruits of love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. It's Galatians 5, and 23. So prayer empowers us to impact the world around us for God's glory. Number three is this. We gotta be consistent and grateful. This builds history that we can look back on when times get hard. So when you have this kind of history with God and times do become difficult, you can truly say, I've seen his faithfulness through seasons and ultimately you'll stand firm. Let's pray. God, we love you. And Father, I pray for everyone who is engaging in this video. Father, I pray that their roots would begin to grow deeper in you that their faith would continue to be strengthened. And Holy Spirit, I just pray that you would impact those who are deepening their roots today. God, I pray families and generations to come would be uh, impacted by the depth of our roots in you, Jesus. God, we trust you in everything that we're doing. We love you in Jesus' name.